after the McCrazy experience on X1023. Ask the question. The question that I asked this morning was, men said women are hottest at what age? Hello? Hey, how you going, Mom? I'm crazy. What's up, bruh, bruh? How you doing? Man, I'm going to miss you, dog. But let me tell you this right here. I think a lot has to do with the number 26 because they got money. You know, they got their little careers. They already been there, done that. Hello? Who's this? Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Just fine. Good. What's your guess? I'd say by the age of 35, 35. you've done it, and you're, you're teaching now. Oh, I That's see. Right. That's, You're right. You're, You're That's right. That's your professor. That's right. That's right. Noah's standing by. Go ahead, Noah. Age. I just want her alive. Yeah, I hear you. Baby. Breathing. Breathing. I heard voice. that. A heartbeat. <laughs> Men said women are hottest. At what age? 28. I've enjoyed my time on the morning show. I've learned so much from Mark. His shoes are going to be very hard to fill in this community. People look up to him, and he's a staple. Something else that we've been doing for years and years is something called, damn, I ain't heard that in a long time. Yeah. That's where we go in the attic, pull out a classic, you hear this jam, you can't help but say, hmm, I ain't heard that in a long time. Well, I've been with him for seven years now, and, um... I've been on the morning show four years. And I mean, I'm really happy for him. Like, Mark is moving on to bigger and better things, and he's going to be with his kid, which is to be commended. He's a great father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Far too kind. Can I get an Do you want more? Cook him with the Brooklyn boys. And it's an end of a, a, an era in radio here in West Palm because that show has been so successful, and he's the. He's the cornerstone of the show. He is the center. He is the apex. It's, it's his show. We all play off him. I've had really nothing but um, pretty much 10 years of, of uh, just good times. Uh, You're a and, miracle worker, Mark. And all I, those car and bike shows y'all went to, that X-Fest y'all went to, the X-Listener Appreciation Party, the one that just got rained out, Mark pulled all that stuff with nothing. Nothing. Well, nothing. I had some help. Uh, but, but you know, it, we, we... You're the miracle worker, Mark. But we, we, we really had some great moments He don't want all this attention, but I'm going to say it. I got uh, two radio stations in Dallas that are struggling, and... Um, I gotta go there and, and uh, try to try to get them right. One, I mean, you know, exactly. So it, it's a and it, it's a it's a challenge and it's bittersweet. The legacy that he's leaving is to show us how to how to become a legend. I just really want to say sincerely from the bottom of my heart, man, Mark, you are like many said, you are a miracle worker, man. You've been such an influential part of this county and how we listen to radio. Like you changed so much within this game and it's, it's evident because they're trying to get you in Texas now. So We have a great vibe. We mesh well and I'm going to miss that. And then most importantly, I want to thank Palm Beach. I want to thank the municipalities all the way from Boca Raton up to Tequesta and Jupiter, all of Fort Pierce and Vero and Stewart. I want to thank you guys for how much love that I received. The Muck, I didn't forget about you. Bill, Glade, Cluiston, Pahokee, thank you. So appreciative of all the love that I've received while I've been here. I don't believe in goodbyes. I believe in see you laters. Thank you for everything you've done. It was yeah. great working with you. Ten you. years is a hell of a ride. Thank you. you. Wish it could have been longer. A lot of fun stuff, and you know, like I said, with me and him, it, it extends beyond radio. He's just one of the best people I've ever met in life, and he's one of my best friends, and uh, he'll be missed. Well, for the last time, God willing, and the crick don't rise, and I don't get beat up by some chick with some spritzed hair in Dallas, I'll be talking to you guys here real, real soon. Everything's bigger in Texas. God bless you. Goodbye.